Guess what? Today on the Bills of Show, we're gonna pull a drive shaft out of this Chevy Silverado. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. As you can see here, the old drive shaft which we talked about, it's got a bad hanger bearing, hey? Okay? It's not too bad, but it's bad. So it needs to come out. But in order to get it out, we gotta remove the drive shaft, which is actually the easiest part of this job, because I'm pretty sure that these bearings are pressed on. First thing we're gonna need to do is pull these bolts out of the rear end. To do that, I'm pretty sure it's a 3 8 but by the looks of it, I could be wrong. But you never know. Let's find out. 3 8 it is. Oh no, it's metric. Uh oh, might be a 12 millage. Nope, too big. Might be a, a 10 millage. Nope, too small. Might be a uh, whatever the hell I thought it was the first time. Frick, it's gotta be that. All right, well anyways, there we go. So let's get this out of the way. Oh, they're tight. Oh, they've been in there a while, Jim. There's one. We'll just get them all loose for now. There's two. So to use more strength, that's all. I can't get to it. There's three and here comes number four skins. Let's pull on this one. There we go. Actually pulling on it was pretty nice. Babe, come here. This thing doesn't feel too good on the arm. Hey, that's an actual box bolt, which is a little too long. I might have to nib them off with the old grinder there because that hurt. Freaking right, that hurt. Babe. Oh, I thought you were downstairs. Where, top box? Top, bo top tool box. Over here? Yeah, the big square drawer. The one that pulls the main uh, the big square drawer, that's not square. Black tape. Where are you then? What Down here under the truck. Wrong way. How you doing? Thank you. Welcome. All right, so we have one almost off. I do have power tools for this, but hey, as you can see, I gotta finish paint the friggin' exhaust pipes too. They don't look too good. Look how small they are. Maybe we got some uh, hooker. A hooker buffers in this bad boy. Hooker competition. How did I? 305 with 400,000 kilometers on it won't be much competition, but hey, they're competition mufflers they are, so that makes it worthwhile. Nothing like some good competition. All right, we got one off. This is a real slow process as you see here, because, you know, I didn't get out the power tools for this job, which I should have, but I didn't, so it is what it is. Who doesn't like taking their time to take off a drive shaft? Uh, I mean, that's me. Me, I don't. Frig, no, I don't. Oh, God. So one thing about the good old dirty old Bills of, uh, videos here is hell we might not be done this on this video but at least you get to see mostly what you have to do if you know what i'm saying so don't forget to subscribe like and hit the notification because you know i appreciate that stuff i'm not too sure how to get into the algorithm it's not working too good i know i suck but i don't suck that bad so something's going on here that's why i stopped saying the words i like to say because i'm trying everything i can possible because i'm failing boys girls peoples you want to know the honest to god truth i'm failing on the old youtubes it's not growing like it should be. Doesn't mean I'm gonna quit. Just means my audience ain't big enough for what I want. Does that make sense? Probably not. But what do you want now? I'm bringing out some. Some what? Nuts. Nuts? For this. Downstairs. Okay, just leave them up there. So what you wanna do next is you wanna take something like this, not this, but something like it, and you push on it. It'll actually push it right out of the doodad. You know what's gonna happen here. I can see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna wanna replace the friggin' universal joint now. Oh, 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 there we go. So that's out. So now what you wanna do is you wanna try to hold the drive shaft up with your head. Ow, that hurt. Maybe not, but try to hold the drive shaft up. And these cuffs like to fall off, so take some tape if you got some. But if you don't, then don't take some tape and just kinda, ow, let it fall on your head again. Fag, we'll get her, don't worry. How about I? Sometimes things takes a little bit longer than you want them to, but you're just gonna have the patience and get her done, son. Hold on, I need one more extra hand. You got one? Probably not, because I don't. Here you go, something's happening. Okay, we got her. So you just wanna take some black tape, wrap it around that baby, because if the caps fall off and the pins fall out, it sucks. So there we go, that's off. So now, I was supposed to leave that on until I got the other thing off, but we didn't do that because you know me. I like to do things backwards, I do. So if you look up here, there's the hanger bearing. So what we gotta do next is we gotta unbolt the hanger bearing and then we can slide the whole drive shaft right out of this baby. So let's get this drive shaft out of my way. There, that works. 
We'll put the ratchet wrench back because I don't need it. Maybe. We have to just kind of throw stuff back in the box because I can't reach anything right now. And now we got to find the right size for this, which is probably, I'm going to guess and say that one. No, what size was that? Quarter inch. Oh, we're metric here. I know that for sure. So for metric, we're going to go this way. Let's try this one. No, one up. Where were we? Let's try this one. There it is. So there's that. Now we need a big ratchet. Slap that on there. And I got no extension down here for that ratchet. Of course I don't. I didn't want to get up. I don't like getting up once I'm under this truck because I'm fat. What do we got here? I might as well grab an open and one up there. We got a friggin', is it a 19 or six, 16 mil? Okay, I got out there and I got thinking to myself, why would I go up there and get a ratchet without getting the getter off 36,000? So I just grabbed the 36,000 getter offer and I think it'll be much easier on our body. Come here, get her off 36,000. Should jack this truck up maybe a tad higher too. But why would I do that? That wouldn't make sense. Let's get her on 36,000. Hold up, gotta get her off 36,000. Okay, so that's turning, but it's turned up there as well. And that's do the same. So now we gotta get a get her in there and hold her 2600, which is that one right there. And we can nail her, maybe. That's what happened. So we're gonna need a dual box pack and we're gonna need a 16 on the top. And actually it's not a 16 up there. How is that even possible? It must be a 17. Hey, keep your voice down for a minute, would you? I'm trying to talk to my camera here. How do I look? Do I look comfortable? Frig, you have no idea. It's beautiful down here. Fat guy under a truck, always comfortable. Especially how I got this exhaust hanger right in my way. It's not too bad. It kind of helps out actually. So we got one here. So let's get one there and we'll stick one in here and we'll see if that gives me what I want. Cause you know, I always want something. Ready for this? I'm not. Okay, let's see if this has got it. <laughs> Maybe. Holy. How am I gonna do this? I feel kind of claustrophobic right now. Let's try doing it this way so it falls right on my head. Here, 26,000. Up, in, need a hoist. How you doing? Ow. Wrong way. Oh my God. This is gonna be something else. Ow! My finger. Ow! Oh, it's out! Oh, it fell on my head! We did it! I don't know what we did, but we did something. It come out, it did. There it is. Hey, I'm gonna have to look for a new one. Right. Let's see if we can get this side a little easier. I doubt it, but you never know. Oh, hold on, I need this arm to go up and around. Somewhere in here and up here, maybe. Let's try that. Oh, here it comes. Thumbs down. Maybe. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, we got it. We're holding it up with the air tool. There's that. Oh, careful. Oh. Oh, fell out. Uh oh. We might be leaking oil. Just come right out. No, we're not leaking oil. Hey, we did good. It fell right out for me. Did you see that? There you go. It's right out. It come out with the oak. Just fell right out of her. So we got the drive shaft out of the truck. Wasn't that easy? Friggin' right it wasn't. So now that's done. Let's get the hell out of here and get the hell out of here. How you doing? Good. We're gonna get the hell out of here. Are right, you right here? Maybe. Hold on. Hold that thought. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're back on the other side here and we're gonna try to drag everything out of here along with the drive shaft and everything else. So we'll get out the taker off 46,000 and uh, get it out of the way. And then we'll get the tool kit kind of out of the way here. And then we'll get this light out of the way here. And we'll slide the drive shaft right out of here. And there it is, look at that. You know what? That drive shaft isn't as long as I thought. Oh, that universal joint is dead. So it's gonna need universal joints. Oh yeah, that center bearing is perfect. You can't get a better bearing than that one right there. But this bearing here, we got to clean up all this rust here. There's a sleeve on here that you got to unscrew and then that part comes off. And then we clean off that part and this part and the other part too and say, hey, how you doing? Before you do all that, I'm going to get out of the drive shaft that's over there. And I'm going to see if it's the same friggin' length. Because if it is, I'm going to put it in. 
That drive shaft's a lot shorter than I thought it was. So here's the drive shaft that come with the truck. We're gonna lay it down here and see what we got for length. Too long. That was easy. So we're gonna get into taking this apart and we'll get all this off here. So let's start by cleaning this up and we'll go from there. See if we can't get these separated and then maybe we'll call it our video. Maybe, I don't know yet. We'll have to see. Wire wheel, more room. Maybe we'll paint this drive shaft off while it's out. What do you think of that? Leave your comments down below. Oh yeah. Look at it. Okay, so that's cleaned up. Now let's see if we can't turn her off. I'm really good at turning things off, so we shouldn't have a problem with that one. Just ask my wife, she'll tell you. So if I'm not mistaken, this thing should turn this way. Oh, she's gonna come right off, she is. Look at it, no problem. I tell you what, that sun is shining today, but it's still damn cold out there. Let me tell you what. So there we go, now that that's off, this thing should pull apart. Sure does. There you go, how's this universal feel? Not too bad. You mean this thing needs three universals? Holy. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Just remember how that came off. Always mark your drive shaft, because if you don't, it might be out of balance when you put it back together. Doesn't want to see to line up to the marks anyway, so I don't even know what we're talking about right now. What's really going on? It should be right there. Right on. Okay, we'll figure that out in a bit. Well, how does that come off there? Got him? Well, that'll be dipped. We might have to end this video soon. Because that shaft is bigger than that shaft, so how's that gonna slide off of that? How does that even work? Oh, it does have a hole in there. Ah, oh, maybe not. <sighs> I might need your help on this one. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how the hell you get that off there. Maybe just pure force? I don't know. But that's all there is to get the drive shaft off the truck and get it separated. Leave me a comment down below if you have any other ideas on what we go from here, but I'll figure it out. And that'll be on the next video, I hope. Unless you don't want to see it, but leave me a comment down below and let me know. And Bob's your uncle. And I'll try not to do this without you. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. And until the next one, love y'all. And you know what to do for now. Before I sign off, I just want to let you know that there is a spot, one piece, and there's a groove in here. And if you're wondering, they gotta be perfectly lined up before it slides on. So you can mark it all you want, but all you gotta do is look at that and look inside there and you can see where it goes.